Good morning, Acadiana. Abby Breidenbach live here in Crowley. I'm here with the crew to buy you shant. Did I say it right? That's right. We've been working on it all morning. And this is your <laughs> captain, Darren. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? We are Great and happy to be here. It is a chilly morning out here oh, in Crowley, oh. but you all are ready to roll. You're in the parade a little bit later on today, oh, right? Yes, ma'am. But what are you all doing to prepare all day long? Oh, man, we're just going to dance and have a good time and eat and be merry and have barbecue and drink a few, right? Oh, yeah. So you all have been doing Mardi Gras in Crowley for a while now. Oh, yeah. What's the best part about it right here in downtown Crowley? Uh, just throwing all the throws to the kids and the faces and the, you know everybody being merry we love it we love it over here in Crowley what do you all do that's different from everywhere else oh hell it's all the same pretty much <laughs> we're just to give it give it our all I mean we just we enjoy it everybody I yeah. see you all have a ferris wheel here there's lots of yummy food what kind of things oh, can yeah. people expect to be seeing and eating well, the kids out here can ride the rides the I mean there's plenty of food food deals around here that they can walk around and eat. I think they even got a few games and stuff that the kids can play in whatsoever. So yeah, it's a, it's a family or anything. Okay, so people are watching you right now. They're going to be really excited to see you in the parade. What float are you all on? Well, look for the, the Bayou Shan float. Got the alligators and the airboat and all that good stuff on it. All right, well, thanks so much. We'll be live here in downtown Crowley with a lot more on what's going on right here for Mardi Gras today. So stay with us right here on GMA. But before that, we're going to send it back to Dave in the studio. Hey, Dave. Good morning, Abby. Thanks for that. Stay warm. In world news, doctors say a London man is the second person to show he's free of the 